painted it in the, in the space. So that was the first time I, I really had, I had, I had videotaped myself before uh, painting these pieces. I've never done anything with that videotape, but I, I knew that I wanted to like show uh, myself working on this piece because this was going to be in a gallery that I didn't know if anybody was going to be able to see the piece at all. And I thought, well, this will have a presence in, a, in another space. So I videotaped myself painting this and um, it actually lights up uh, if you're in a dark room, if you're in a black room with a, with a ultraviolet light. It would just change this, you wouldn't, everything else would go away and this would be the only thing you'd see in the room. I went to college at Mount Sac up in Walnut and fortunately I had these guys that just got out of graduate school, for professors or teachers and um, so, uh, and I got interested in art. I mean, I, what, I, I really didn't know what to do with myself until I was about 20. And I took a drawing class and this guy said, oh yeah, you can draw. And then from that I took life drawing and design and painting. And I didn't take ceramics in junior college, but I took everything else. And, and then this guy said to me, his name is Roy McCowan, he's still a friend of mine. He said, go see this show in LA called Sculpture in the 60s. And it was a show about uh, United States sculptors that were making sculpture at that time. And, and the fact that they were making art out of stuff that I had no idea that this was even art, but made me realize how broad this was and that a 50-foot piece of timber could be art. So when I went back to school, I started making, and also there was a lot of minimalists in this show, um, Donald Judd, and I, I can't remember everybody who was in it, Tony DeLapp, uh, a whole bunch of people at Keenholz. It was a neat, neat, neat show. And to this day, that was, that's, I'm still working off that energy of that show. Echo Park, um, and it was a freestanding sign. And um, it's, a, it's an icon, another icon. The Super Chief it, uh, was the, one of the first diesel electrics it was invented, it, it, it was brought out in 1937, and it, Super Chief ran from Chicago to Los Angeles, and it was, uh, everybody took the Super Chief, if you were anybody. Uh, it was the star, train of the stars. And so, when I was asked to do this piece, actually this was a piece that I had, I had done, be, I had done before, uh, and, and not done before, but I had, um, submitted it before for another proposal, and I still wanted to do it, so I decided to do it for this. I made it as big as I could. It's pieced together, uh, four by eight sheets of plywood, and it was a you know, freestanding piece that sit, you know, it set, set on a sign. Like, as you drove past on Sunset Boulevard, you, you, you got a glimpse of it. So it was basically a drive, drive, pass, drive by piece. Um, but I came back to junior college and started making minimal sculpture at that point. And then I went to, then I started going to Cal State Long Beach because I came down, I didn't know where to go to college, but I came down here because two friends of mine, John Cedarquist and Jim Jenkins, guys I went to high school with were going here and they were art majors. And so I didn't know from art. So I came down here and started going to Cal State Long Beach. And I ended up, I wanted to still major in sculpture, but the sculpture department, I don't know, wasn't very interesting. It was all sort of life sculpture and not anything to do with what I had thought sculpture was. So I went across the hallway and, and got interested in clay. And so um, I started making things out of clay and I ended up going to graduate school at Cal State Long Beach and, and uh, I got a master's degree in ceramics. And from there I started teaching. And when I got out of school, I started teaching and I continued to make art. This piece here uh, is a piece I did for a self-portrait show. And um, it's more or less a boat hull. Uh, and on this side over here, there's a there's a void right here. And the void is this. And if you didn't realize it before, I'm blind in one eye. And this is the eye that I see out of. So this piece actually has this eye, sort of a, that was my idea anyway. And I'm also interested in boats, and I sail boats and race boats. So this is a boat, sort of a boat hull inverted. Mm. This piece, 
was called Take That Man Ray. And this is a, my dog Nigel with three tennis balls in his mouth. And Man Ray is a, a, a Weimaraner that belonged to Will Weg, William Wegman, who William Wegman always did neat things with him and videotaped him. In a, and, but I didn't think that Man Ray could do this, so I just took that photograph of Nigel and called that Take That Man Ray. The teaching fell away. Different things happened to me. I had to. Re I, I reversed back and I went back into the clothing business, which I'd been in as a kid, and started selling clothes again and working in a clothing store to support myself because I had bought a couple houses. I was also getting divorced. Blah blah blah. And then from there, uh, fortunately, I was working in Fashion Island, and a friend of mine, Joe Solde, was teaching at UC Irvine. And he said, John, they need somebody to teach ceramics next quarter. I'll ask them about you. And they hired me to teach ceramics at Irvine, which was, which was great. And the next year I got hired back, the students hired me back. So I got to, go, I got to teach at Irvine for a couple of years. And the nice thing about Irvine was it was a small department, only six professors. And the professors were all artists. They were all people who made art which, going to Cal State Long Beach, I didn't have that. That wasn't one of the experiences I had. The people there were teachers, and that was a teacher's college where, going to Irvine, I got to work with these guys, Tony, John Paul Jones, um, Tony DeLapp, John Paul Jones, Craig Kaufman, um, Ed Burrell, Melinda Wirtz, and they were all involved in the arts as professionals. So, that was a really neat experience for me. I also only had my schedule was a two day a week schedule. So basically the University of California was paying me to be an artist. I did that for a couple of years and that was just great. And it, it got me in touch with these guys and also um, got me in touch sort of what, what it was like to, to work in your studio. So John comes over one day. John Case and I were in business together. We own a clothing store together. I don't know if you knew that or not. John says, he looks at it on the floor and he goes, could that be really cool on the wall? Cool. So there it is on the wall.